Right, let's get a show on the road then, shall we? So, last time when we left off, we were in... Well, we just left Medulla, we were on our way back to go and see the lady who deals with pyromancy. Had to give her some clothes as well, because she hadn't had... She was only wearing rags, so I went and got a copy of our clothes for her. She's up here now. So here she is. I'm glad to see you're well. So she can make our pyromancy flame better, which we need seeds for. We can give her more stuff if we want to to change her clothes. And she also sells stuff. So she actually sells some of the seeds, but they're like 8,000 and we've not got that. She sells spells as well, which I've bought a couple of. So we've got Fireball, Fire Orb and Combustion now. Be safe. And I have Combustion equipped. Which is a pretty cool spell. So there's a little explosion in front of you. So... I don't think there was anything else I could do. I've not got any more... Ah! I had Nesta's shard, didn't I? You. Is that a shard you found? Here, let me see it. To see light, to see hope, however faint it might be. There we go, upgrade it again. So, I don't think I can level up. I think I need way more to be able to... Yeah, I need 8,000 for a level up as well. So, we have our agility at 110 now for the quicker drinks and the better rolls so now it's all going to go on damage I think I'm going to leave my HP and my stamina and my equip board for now they can all stay at like 5, 8 and 4 and we'll just pile it all in the damage and yeah I don't think I've got any souls I can use to get any further upgrades or anything uh, oh I do I thought I'd used them all. Right. Bump up and see what we can get. Um, what do I need for actually upgrading my weapons and stuff? Chunk, chunk, large tiny shards. Um, the other guy had large tiny, didn't he? The other blacksmith, uh, which is McDuff. So we will go and get some stuff from McDuff. Upgrade our crossbow a little bit because that crossbow is actually coming useful a couple of times. Hello, you. Um, you sell large shards, don't you? You do. So I've got one, I need two more. I need only a few souls to be able to upgrade it again. So we'll start with the smallest. Oh, just under. There we go, plenty there. Uh, so, reinforce weapon, bump the crossbow up a bit. Um, so yeah, now they all need chunks. Uh, what infusions can you do? Buy a bolt, dark, poison, mundane, which is rubbish, magic and raw. Um, you sell bolts as well, don't you? Wood bolts, heavy bolts. I've got plenty of both now. So yeah, 82 of one, 100 of the other. And I have my pyromancy as well. So, where was the next place to go? 
Wheat done. Sinners rise. We've done everything at Bastille. Because I needed Pharaoh's stones for the two places there. We've done that, so it is to this place. I actually missed the name of it then. What's this bonfire actually called? Old Eclair, I'm going to say that is. Put these back in the box while I remember. I'm going to keep hold of that little crab claw as well in case I get another one. And I'm going to dual wield them. So. Sneaky basilisk over there. Oh yeah, so we'd been all round this bit. We needed... What was it we needed to do to open this door? Is it in one of these? Let's take care of the basilisk. I don't want him sneaking up on me. This is the door with the bottle fire in it. What was up here? We had a stick man. Ugly as fuck. We had a dwarf. Just relying on those staggers at the moment. Um more stickmen on the other side it looks like. Try anything this one. Nothing here, maybe I need to pull the lever. Is that like, that looks like the top of a broken ladder or something there, glitching through the floor. You know what open? You open that door, you can open this one. Yes, no, maybe. Yeah, you are. So, what's out here? Message required ahead. Visions of message. Message. <coughs> okay, that's actually pretty good. You can have a rating. Yeah, there's occasionally joke bits like this where people leave messages. Let's put one down, shall we? Seeing as I've not put any. Hurrah for... Where is message? Smash bath. I smash bath. I am just putting down dumb messages. Uh, where is message? Is message on here. There it is. Hurrah for message. And I didn't actually write it. Stupid thing. Object. Message. Save. Here we go. So I can add mine to the list as well. Hi Beth. Yeah, so here we go. So we've got message required ahead. Visions of message. Message and then message. Message. Hurrah for message, which is ours. Message ahead. Message and then miracles. Hurrah for message, by the way, message ahead. 
And we are in Shaded Woods. Mm. And yeah, this is... We're pretty Beth at the moment because we've not died for a while. We're not ugly... We're not... Angie on on dead Beth. These guys. Boom. Punch him in the butt. So where do we go here? Because I don't remember much of this area. Was he throwing poo at me then? That looked like a dumb ball. It was. Or was it a rock? Whatever it was, it hurt. Ugh. Hurt more than I thought it would. Oh yeah, Beth, you can now uppercut as well. I realise the rolling attack is an uppercut. So along with your regular punches, you can now uppercut people. What's this? <gasps> Ferrous Lockstone. Eh, it's just a block. Right, where do we go? Catch. Oh, that did fuck all to you guys. Oh, we're going to warm down a little bit. guys scrabbling around soul of a proud knight human effigy there. we've got some broken statues this is like overgrown ruins oh there's the castle have you been back anywhere back we've been enjoying your day off So I am a bit late starting. In there. We now have a ferro sock stone, which we'll actually need for one of the earlier areas. Um, there. Tell you what. I will swap you out though. The big fireball. Now, I have options. Do I go straight ahead? With a weird fart gas looking thing in the distance? Do I go left? Visions of danger zone? Or do I go right into the suspicious mist? I think I'm going to go left first. Or I am left handed. So we've got a soldier. Here he comes. I heard you then. With your bow. Ow. Oh, he's got a cool eagle shield as well. Praise the sun. No, can't see it. Is there anything around here we've missed? 
No, some blood stains. Not even any items, what a rip off. New area of liar. Yeah, somebody's probably said there's been a wall there or something. Another dude. The weird way they run. Get a backstab in. Night, human effigy, and two twinkling titanite. Nice. That looks suspicious. Because those guys usually only show up when you're really close. Targeting. Target this guy. Just get rid of you first. And then this one. Just fuck all. But, um. There. Okay, and angle it right. Got him. Dun, 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 dun. Is this all that's down here? Present axe and a golden falcon shield. And then there's stuff on the other side that looks like I can't get to. Oh, there's a path there. Right. Let's have a look at these weapons. We got. The beloved Black Axe of the Gallant Shieldless Lothian, formerly of Ferosa. No warrior matched the ferocity of unbeatable Lothian, but he abruptly retired from the battlefield and was never heard from again. Some say that he grew tired of the frailty of human foes and set off to slay the legendary dragon. Noise. And then we got the Golden Falcon Shield. Small shield by used by the Volgan Falconers. Oh, so the Falconers. So it's like a glistening gold falcon from afar. Yada yada yada. I think it's suspicious of all of those now. Backstepping ahead. If we got. Where are you? <laughs> Building. I think this is where you get to one of the DLCs, you know. Pointless ahead. Yeah. Seek mightier souls. So I'm guessing that's what we need to defeat the four big guys to get through. If I remember right. So back into regular shaded woods. And we shall go. Yeah, we'll just make our way around so we'll go straight ahead. Out of the central bit. See where that goes. Eh, yeah, bugger sitting at the bonfire. Uh, that's a weird effect on the floor. It's glitching out a bit. You can see all the purple stuff over there. Right, off we got this way. These things. Are you friendly or are you angry? You're running away. I will take running away for now. Oh, you. Right. I see a paramount he just gives you because. Oops. 
not even as much as my crossbow. Can you get through the door? Be back in a way. All right. New drops. Old radiant life gem. Yeah, screw fighting those guys in melee. They're a pain to dodge. Have a look up this way. So we still have the little stinky things. We have a tree. Ah! Little bastard. Oh, they die in a single punch though. So what we got? Visions of projectile, visions of dark. Got a red tear stone ring. I'm not going to be using that. Although it is quite cool. And my message got rated. Whoa, let's have a look. Uh, written history. One. Um. Ring, red tear stone. It is here. Ring set with a rare tear stone reacts when the wearer is in danger, temporarily increasing its wearer's attack power. Kaitha, goddess of tears, mourns the undeserving dead, shedding tears as red as blood. Said that the stone set in this ring is one such tear. So, yeah, when you're on really low health, that gives you a big damage boost. <laughs> Hi, Dave. Yeah, I just bitched out fighting one of the ogre guys because fuck them. I can't be asked fighting them. Tough enemy ahead, weakness parrying. Like, you say that, but I'm just going to backstab him. Keeping Smash Beth safe. How are you, Dave? You enjoying your weekend? And he's dead. Right. I don't have the symbol of the king, so this is a dead end. So that's two dead ends. Yes, this is Smash Beth. Smash Beth who punches things. Has a crossbow and now has fire as well. So, the last way to go was this way. So I'm going to sit at the bonfire before I do it. Seeing as it makes no difference, it'll just get me my healing back. Bum, 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 bum. Right then. Fog wall ahead. <laughs> Give him a good talking to, Dave. Oh, this is a lovely place. I'm going to stick to the edge. <laughs> Saw you in the last second. Barely even see him. There. Uh. <laughs> After you put it back, you let them know they were paracons. Good. Now, this is the fun bit trying to fight. 
enemies I can't lock onto and can barely see. Uh, look, zombie birth. There. So I'm going to stick down that side again. Um, heavy punch. No, I went to it the wrong way. It was this way. Yeah, there's always people like that around. Like, I see them sometimes on bus, on like when I went to office and stuff. And you could see people like there. Got you, you dick. Yeah, fuck this area. <laughs> like, if I had a sword or something, which I could swing in a big arc. Maybe, but with... Punching them. Oh, it clears up a bit. Are you who I think you... Yes. Let's grab this. Fire seed. That'll upgrade our pyromancy. But first, let's talk to our buddy. Leave me be. I like it quiet. Leave me be. No, I'm going to talk to you. You may call me Vengal, if I deserve a name in this sorry state. It is rare to flap these guns. This is pleasant. Come on, Vengal, talk some more. I was hired to defend the kingdom. I remember a long, brutal fight, and then somebody <laughs> killed a cool me. helmet. So I thought. I came to and found myself like It's this. like a like a demonic wolf or something. I don't know what explains it. But it's not so bad. Really. And now I watch the days go by. Gaze at the night sky. Thinking of the finer things. Far removed from war. I've grown weary of battle, but did not realize it until now. I so this is a guy who basically just got fed up. Journey, nor will I deign to ask. You, but I want to warn you of something. My body. I see visions. My body, headless, <sighs> raging without me. My body. Eh, hey, we're all right. A sword, a sword, forged been working since nine and had to take a horrible call seeing as we had bugger all people in and ended up just referring it to our manager so that manager's going to deal with it now so Vengar sells big smashy weapons great arrows he sells the lightning guns and he sells the magic barrier min miracle. I cannot lie. Oh, boop. I was bored. Yeah, I spent most of the day like I've been catching up with all my tickets and stuff, and almost up to date now. Almost. Still working from home for now. I can see him wandering round from here. I've just realised, like, when I go into the actual fog, visibility goes right down. But if I back out a bit, 
Right, there's one over there I can see walking about. There's one over that way who's a bit closer. Well, 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 well. Oi, Alex. I am in the worst place. Right, let's stick to the edge. And listen for them. Just see him over there. This is leading up. Is this the way out? Oh! Made me jump. Look at that guy. Right. Come up here a bit. I wonder. The tree doesn't like being attacked. <laughs> Forest ball. Are you you're a player one. I wonder, I've got fire. Let's see. See, I'm pretty much just listening for them now chest. That's more than one of them. Oh. <laughs> right, so I've done all the way down the left hand side to the exit. Time to do all the way down the right hand side to the exit. You died, Pepe Laugh. No, don't Pepe Laugh me. It's Manu's job. <laughs> Stupid tree. You died. <gasps> there she is. Oh yeah. Bum, 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 bum. Shit the dead. Shit the bed. Right. Here yeah, one. Get staggered. There's one of them. You're alright, Manu. All I've really done is gone up two dead ends and then die a couple of times in this area where I can't see anything. I heard from a little birdie that you died. <gasps> Screw you, Dave. Can't believe it. There. Come here, you. Got him. Oh, what? You died? No, no. I didn't die at all. You saw nothing. <gasps> Old sun ring. What's this? Uh, 
An odd stone ring containing a fiery heat accumulates power as the user is harmed, then explodes, damaging surrounding enemies while leaving its wearer unscathed. Or these will come back to us in some form rather, both good and bad. Ooh. I'm going to put that on for a bit. Yeah. I didn't die at all. You were just seeing things. Right, so I've got a ring now that explodes if something damages me too much. Let's see how well that works. May appear to have found a secret path. Be wary of ambush, be wary of behind. Might be the guy that I got earlier. Let's see. Loranthi ring plus one. There he is. Oh, that was the ring exploding. That ring was all right. Like it only took a couple of hits for it to explode. So, if I just go this way now and ignore the fuck out of all of them. Bah, 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 bah. And I'm just going to go grab this and run like a madman so that's the chest that I got if I go this way this should lead out There we go. Fuck yous. And I got Chlorine Theory plus one, so that's upgrade. There. I am not that bothered about the souls. Um. up here. Bonfire. That's what we needed. So we can put some of these away. So I'm out of that shit all of an area. And I will never be going back if I can avoid it. So, now we have this place to explore. So we've got a guy petrified over there, it looks like. Got a sneaky one sat down. And we've got an item. Radiant life jam. Try jump attack. Nope, jump too far. Oh, I can't backstab him. <laughs> that was the ring exploding. That's pretty cool. Did not take much damage to trigger as well. Down leads all oh, just back out the way we came in. We've got 
walk off there, here onto it. Doesn't look like it. No. And then it's a broken bridge on that bit. With another petrified guy blocking it. I wonder if I can jump this. If I can. So we got another petrified dude. Enemy ahead. <gasps> another one of you dudes. In a smaller space to make it harder to backstab. Not too much harder though. And dead. Monastery charm. What was that one? Poison and restores HP. We've got Soul Brave Warrior and a Twilight Herb, and then we've got whatever this is. Blind bone dust, yes, makes my Estus better. So we need one, two of those things for getting people out. Ooh, got this as well. Getting people out of the petrify. We've got the Black Knight halberd. Everybody loves that thing in Dark Souls One. So how do I get? Or am I trapped? I think I'm trapped. Unless there's a way out over here somewhere. Doors look like it. <gasps> no. So I am actually trapped. Statue blocks your way. Hmm. We back to the bonfire. Hi, Brina. Right, so... Got this guy who I'm just gonna eh. get back here. You missed me doing like the worst area of this, Brina. I hear giggling. Oh, it's that thing. So we have chest. Magic bolts. So you crossbow bolts. Yeah. Can't jump over that bit. But I can jump out this bit. Oh, curse. And I landed on the thing that broke it. Oh well. Brave warrior fire bombs. I can hear basilisks in there. And we've got this guy up here who is petrified. So I need more of those 
fragrant branch things. stuff underneath that's doing it. I bet there is. You hear proper laughter as well. Oh, there it is. Just jump into it. And you as well. Not leaving any of your bullshit. Got another. We got a chunk. Sweet. We need a chunk to upgrade our fists even more. How have you been, Brina? What have you been up to? Oh yeah, that's what I forgot. Oh. We got it's over here. Another one. Oh, I bought. This is probably the meanest enemy they've put in a Dark Souls game as well. Just like... Have an enemy that looks like the random phantoms that can be running around while you are. I'm alright. I've managed to get through the area that I really didn't like. That's why I'm off exploring again now, because I can't quite remember what I'm supposed to do here. I think I'm going to get cursed regardless. Yeah. Back to being ugly Beth. Ah. Those guys are mean. Right, there can be more dingies under here for cursing. Who is it? There. Give me that. Another Pharosop stone. And we've got... Friend ahead. <laughs> it's a scorpion man. Come here, you. Why can't I? Ah, jump in attack. Too slow. Um, studying aeroplanes mainly. Dark Scythe. What are you? Are you a spell or are you a weapon? You are a weapon. You're a war scythe. like I'm going down. You say nothing apparently. Right, so that's just a way back. What is up here? Nothing. And then down here we have another statue blocking the way. So I need 
bunch of those branch things that unpetrifies people. But I don't know where to get them. We'll have to continue exploring and see if we find any more of them. Where's the curse coming from? Thought I'd smashed them all. Unless there's another one like hidden that I've just not seen. So I'm pretty sure it's these it's definitely these flowers things. So we've got another petrified dude. So that's like five that I need now. Four. He's in front of a chest. <gasps> Got one that's alive. Let's punch him. Oop. He does a fair whack of damage. See if the curse things have stayed disappeared. Oh yeah, I gotta deal with this guy. You guy. died it. I died it. Eh, no. Oh yeah, a ringer. I've got a ring on bar that makes me explode if I take too much damage. So if this guy hits me, boom. You is dead. I is dead. Oh. It sounds like the cursed things have come back. Yeah, they have. Yeah. I'm not going to be able to do this. Died, you did. I did, died. You is not alive. I is deceased. Bed the shit. <gasps> the golden one. Alive and you are. You guys are all bullies. I am going to need loads of those freaking bro. Oop, another one here. My backstab. Yes, I can. <laughs> You are, you're all bullies. You're all being mean. Especially Brina. Brina does it the most. No, 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 no. There. Yeah, you're you're leading with little respect. That 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 that. I forgot how to talk. Imagine having TTS enabled in your stream. Yeah. Yeah, when I backstab somebody, you're literally fisting them in the spine. 
then yes, I have TTS enabled because if I even suspect somebody is fucking about, I would just ban them. I don't give a shit. I do not require that petty thing called evidence. This is not a democracy. That goes for any of my mods as well. You do not have to have evidence to ban somebody. If you think somebody is fucking around too much, just do it. <laughs> Respect my authority. Yeah, my message has been rated. I got a free heal. Ferrous Lockstones have got now two. Basilisk here. And another petrified guy. I'm gonna need like 10 of those fragrant branch things just to get through every. Are you a real one? No. Yeah, I'm gonna need like 10 of those fragrant branch things just to get through all this stuff. So we've got. What? Building. steps going up and we've got half that leads up that way dun, 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 what's up these steps Brave warrior and skeptic size, spice and try beating to a pulp, but eh. right. What's over this way? I've found a plan for it. I need more practice. Basically, I've got to do it in multiple parts, so I've been practicing a bit. Because I've got to fit them together afterwards, so I've got to be really precise with it. So here we have <gasps> Homing Soul Mass. That is a cool spell. Yeah, I'm going to make a video out of it, like the rest of them. So there will probably be a bunch of fail video bits at the start as well, because I've messed it up a few times already while trying it. So, homing soul mass. Multiple soul masses appear above the head when fired. They home in on their target. And we have a dude. All right, you can have a rate for that. Despite how bad both of those jokes are. Ah, look how far this undead has wandered. And a very fit undead you are. Are you looking at the same one? Too alive, but with a darkish 
shadow. Yet still unprepared for a deeper dark. And like every other. That's what your beard will be like eventually, Dave. Future. Just gonna wait for a bit. Oh my, don't mind me. I'm just talking amongst myself. But if you find the need for a truer dark, then meet again. The dark is still nascent within <laughs> you. So Katie won't let you become Gandalf. Just terrible. Okay, we're blaming you. You have been called out. See, if Amelia or Paige didn't like it, it'd be alright, because they're only kids, they don't really understand. But the fact that you're objecting to it is just inexcusable. It's just not allowed. <laughs> Visions of boss. Okay, I will do that. Weakness fire. We've got a boss door. Be wary of wretch. Chest ahead, or half ahead. No. Um. Who underscore? Who underscore? Boss time, let's go human. Oh yeah, I forgot to upgrade my Estus Flask, didn't I? Bugger it. Now there is a trick with this boss, which I might get to work just because it's funny. I won't kill her like that, but... So now she pops up. And she's a scorpion lady. Now if we get... Fuck off with those spells. Bloody crystal homing soul mats. It's gonna wreck me. Right, so... Come over here and break this, will you? I want the thing on top of it. Ow! At Kerskio High. <laughs> She's a boob scorpion. To uh, continue the tradition of boob spider from the first one. And yeah, the way you get that is she's got to break it. But she's got to use one of her tail attacks to do it. There. Right, I might just cheese it past all these guys. Like, I've already explored all this. So I, need, I know I just need fragrant branches and stuff to be able to get in, which I don't have any of. So I'll just go this way. Yeah, there's um I think there's two of them, but only one of them has an it item on top. So she should pop out of the ground almost straight away this time. So you got that one over there and this one over here, but only this one's got an item on it. So come over here and do your tail attack. I know you're going to do your homing crystal thing because bloody sorcerers. But I know all your spells. Now come and attack this. Uh, one shot.
beep, 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 beep. Right, I'm just going to ignore you completely. So I'll give it one more try, trying to get her to break the thing. If not, I'll just fight her. Because I have bugger all health. And bugger all stamina. All I've done is my damage, my dodge. did say weakness fire as well, so... Bonk. Right, come this way. Hit this thing for me. Right, stop casting spells. Making my way downtown, walking fast. Faces pass, but you died. <laughs> oh great, I'm just gonna fight her. I'm pretty sure that's just a uh, human human effigy anyway. man who's bullying me. Perfect timing as well. It's just mean. <laughs> right. I'm going to chuck a fire orb at her at least this time and then I'm just going to punch her. Uh, we'll take you off because I'm not going to be using you. <laughs> right. So fire off your spear that just hits the floor. Pop out the ground. Boob scorpion. Uh, whoever mentioned fire was a liar. That did bugger all. Punch does way more. That was a bad time to try and heal. So she does have an attack. Where she slams her tail against the floor. And you can actually run up it if you time it right. I doubt I'll be able to do it because... This one. <laughs> Did it. And you can just stay here the entire fight. But it is proper cheesy, so I'm not gonna. So she goes under. What is this? Oh, it's a flame butterfly. So she's going to spell at me. Gotcha. Huh? 
run out of Estus as well. And we have Scorpion S Nashka Soul. So, uh, which way? This way. I think. I remember there being a trap or something in here, but I can't remember. Fire ahead. Weakness quagmire. Giggity. Be wary of message. Illusory wall. Liar. Um. Message. Message. Secret. You're also a liar. <laughs> Also a liar. So many liars. Enemy ahead. Oh, it's the dwarves. We are at the doors of Pharos. And we have an elephant man and a dwarf. And no bonfire. So. We'll go this, because this is a lot of souls. Pretty bad. Oh, we will upgrade some of our pyromancy because I'm sure we got a fire seed. Hello again. How have you? We did. Sweet. We got one upgrade. Um. She sells another one. She sells three. Um. Let's get one. Reinforce. Bugger it. I'm always here. So they only take a thousand, uh, take one seed for each upgrade. So. Let's get some more souls, shall we? We got some chunks then, so we can upgrade our fists as well and punch even more. So, big one first. So, we've bought all of the seeds that she sells. Upgraded you as far as we can. We shall upgrade the punches some more. Um, only got one chunk, so one for now. And you don't sell any more yet. Um. What else was we needed? Oh yeah, there was the two areas with... Uh, Faro stones that we could go to, so... 
One of them was here. <laughs> so down the ladder, because there was a pursuer fight down here. I fought him like six times last time. And then, use. What did you do? Secret wall. What's in here? An entirely new area. Oh, it's Belfry. Oh, it's Belfry Luna. It's the place that Dave likes. Right. We will be back there in a second. We will do Belfry Luna next. But before we do, there is another room in the Lost Bastille for us to go to. Um, where was it? I don't think it was out here. But I'm not 100% sure. Because... I can't remember exactly how we got to it. I know I had to roll through somewhere. I just can't remember where I had to roll. No, no, it's for you. Or for you. Or for any of you nerds. Um, where did we go to get to that room? Because there was a room with like a... I'm sure this just opens up on a wall. Yeah, it does. There was a room that was really dark. It had one of the assassins in it. And we could... Sort of jump across part of it. And I can't remember where that was. I right, should carry on this way and see what we find. What was out this? So this was the room. This is where the elevator bit was. With the dogs. <laughs> is it in here? Is it in this bit? Oh, that went way further than I thought it would. Exploded. Oh, did I put a wall there? I did. Huh. We've got our strike robes and shield. I know where I'm going now, Alex. There was another place I could go where I could use a Pharaoh's Lockstone but didn't have one and it's this room here. But I picked up a couple of Lockstones so there's the assassin hiding on the ceiling. So we will fight this guy and he might drop another Crab Claw for us. Knock him down. Come on. Crab claw, crab claw. Ooh, the vest. Used to hide in the cover of night. Those who are especially adept assassins are often hired as bodyguards. 
In an attempt to stave off the curse, King Vendrick hired shadow men to pop down the hollows before they were hollowed themselves. Oh, that looks cool. We're going to keep that on then. And then there was this. So this was the bit that I couldn't get to before. Soul Vessel. All that for a Soul Vessel. Rubbish. Right, so we need to go back up to the bit that's called the Servant's Quarters. Let's be lazy. And we shall have a look around Belfry Luna. Which, if I remember correctly, is a PvP zone. So we're going to end up fighting. I should probably sit down there, actually, and get my fireballs and stuff back. So, oh, Sublime Bone Dust, I've still not used that. Not that I really need to, I still get healed to almost full at the moment. Um, oh, I've got a giant sea. So, this thing... Enemies react to invaders from other worlds. If I go into the PvP area and use this, it will be absolute chaos. I might do it. Do we have any other, like, shadow-looking stuff we could wear? Night Gauntlet, a Hollow Infantry, Dranglaic. Got here. White dress, leather boots, night leggings, Hollow Infantry, Dranglaic leggings. Doesn't look like we do. Ah well, we'll just keep the shadow top for now. So, let's head to Belfry Luna. Yeah, that item I've got, basically, if you use it when somebody invades you, all the normal enemies will also attack them. Here we go. We have a tiny man. You might like this area, Dave. He's a construct. To guard this bell for the prince's honor. Stay away, foul and dead, or you will be a goner. <laughs> Stay back if it belongs to the princess, he do. <laughs> He's a bit of a nutter. Right, let's go cause some trouble. But try jumping. I don't think you can jump through there. I'm pretty sure that's like a... Let you go through like a secret door or something to get to that. So you're a spirit of some kind. But punching works fine. And we've got a bellkeeper's bow. Some more skeptic spice for spells. Jumping and then chest ahead. <gasps> we've got a tiny little summon sign. Masterless Glencore. It's that guy again. This just drops down. Yeah, this is the bit I said you couldn't jump up to. So we get a chest. Bard is in the chest. The blue tear stone ring, that's the defense one. Again, it's not something I'm going to use. But yeah, you're a liar. 
Now I'm not going to use it because I avoid getting to low health. Or try to at least. Another little spirit dude. Hey Trua, how goes? You have arrived just in time to see me start going through the PvP area. Uh, you're blocked off. Are you skiving off at work again? Are you, uh, or are you at home or something? Ow! There's a lot more damage than I thought. Or what I should say. more hiding around the outside before I rush to that guy over there. Well, either one of those is good, Trua, but getting paid and not being in work sounds fine as well. Yeah, hopefully it's just a cold or something. Like, I know around here there's been like a, uh, a cold and stuff going around that people have been getting. I'm not doing so bad. I died a bunch earlier to like invisible guys and Manu was bullying me. But I seem to be doing alright now. This is going to be another boss, I think. Yeah, I, I couldn't believe it either. So... Boss. Oh, fuck off. No. I don't like gargoyles. These guys start breathing fire, I'm just gonna go around. Three of them. Heal please. Which is the one with all the damage on Right, he's breathing fire as well. Fuck off. You guys are dicks. Right, one down. Concentrate on this one. Get this guy who's annoyed me to fire at me. Single him out because he's law, or try to.
Got him. Right, one more. No, fuck off. There's supposed to be one man. Get me out of here. I don't care if I waste all of my life games on this fight. I don't want to have to do it another time. Got him. Please make this be the last one. Is. Fuck that fight. I was expecting like three. Did not expect there to be like five of them. Is it five? I can't even remember now. I was panicking. One, two, three, four. Yeah, five. Blech. Right, what's out this way? This is a drop, so it's point of no return. Southern Ritual Band. Mm. What are you? Um, Southern Ritual Band. Secret treasures restored in Aldia raises the number of spells you might attune. Cool. Bonfire. Bonfire. Yeah, I was panicking for that entire fight. It was, ah, 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 there's another one. Um. There. May as well put these two in the bank because I'm not going to use them. Probably not that one either. And we shall get our asses to Medulla and level up some more. from you don't think I can get any upgrades from you either nah I might try and get the full assassin set to wear just because it looks cool um, but leveling up time um, I don't have any charts let's get yeah bug of the health more strength and more dex is the way to go. How much for a level now? Uh, I need another 3,000. I should be able to do that. Bearer of seek lest this... And then... Gargoyles all the way. And we'll 
grab you. Three thousand. There we go. Keep them equal. And then... There, I keep mashing that button. And we shall burn... Bone dust. I actually remembered this time. And then... I'm just going to have a look at the map maker. Because he should still be over here. Have a look, see if uh, our buddy Morglin has any more items as well yet. Because he's supposed to get more items the more bosses you defeat. Oh, hello again. Uh Bearer, seek, seek, lest. Bearer, seek, seek, lest. Uh, he's not got anything new yet. Rubbish. Well, I. Well, thank you for. By the gods, why the... And he's losing his memory. Well, I... Bee, 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 bee. Right. Anything new in here? Nope. See what the map maker says. Even more flames have appeared. Did you see the flame on the map? It wasn't there when I came here before. I don't know what... One, two. Ah, well, you've not got anything interesting to say. I might have to look up how to get the other armors from Morglin. Beep, 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 beep. Right, so we had done Belfry Luna, we're at this fire. Let's see where this takes us. That's a lot of dogs. I wonder. I don't think it'll aim down enough. No, it won't. Ah, well. We shall have to try and punch them all. Make sure I go back into there. Because that's like one, two, three, four, five dogs. Look at them all. most of them and now we've got a dark spirit as well interrupt the healing He takes a fair bit of damage if we actually hit him, so... Let's 
stagger a little bit. <laughs> Finish him off with the explosion. Right, um... And I could give an effigy for it. So that ring breaks after a while. Um, what have we got? Thrust weapon. Yeah, I should really get rid of that one. We'll stick Royal Soldiers on, just for the roll. And this gives us Dragon Tooth. If you watch me play Dark Souls 1, you'll remember that weapon. So is this all that's here? Is it just a lead into this bit? Right, you get Dragon's Tooth and a couple of other bits. Enchanted Falchion. Yeah, it looks like it is. It looks like this is a dead end. across there that I can see. It is a dead end. Oh well. Put you away. Probably never going to use you either. Get this ring fixed, and then we shall head back through the forest. Because I quite like that ring. Right, it saved my ass there with those dogs. Repair five grand to repair it. Uh, you should be enough. I think. No. I'll repair this week. Oh yeah, I'm gonna keep all of that ring, it's pretty cool. And now we need to go back to Scorpion Woman. That was it. So I'm just gonna leg it. Because I still don't have any more fragrant branches, so it's not like I can do it out of this here. Although, off stream, I might farm the um, assassins a bit, because I know where there's a couple of them. See if I can get some more of the assassins' outfit to wear. And I will find out how to unlock more armor at Moglin. But for now, we shall continue this way and see what we've... Go and fight some dwarves and elephant men. Ba -ba 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 -ba. In fact, what time is it? It's like 10 to 8. Yeah, not much longer than then. Brina will be going live, so we will raid over to Brina when he is on. But for now, more punching things. 
So we have the doors of Pharos. We have the big elephant man. Who has a massive spell. Very slow swing as well, actually. Gotcha. Now we've got a dude with a shield. It's a dwarf. Hello, dwarf. You also have a fair bit of damage. Gurm Warrior Helm. Warrior Helm of the Nomadic Gurm. Excellent poise defense, but very heavy. Oh yeah, that looks great. Looks like something Cyclops out of the X-Men would wear. We have items, we've got Prism Stone. We have Bonfire. Well, bonfire is quite obviously going to be progression, so I'll light the bonfire. And we shall go up. And see what else was up this way. We've got another dwarf. And a bit that leads round. Let's go and see if we can't punch this other dwarf in the back. Sneaky, sneaky. Sneaky, sneaky. And uh, punch him in the ass. Yep, this is the rat area. Or at least connected to it. The dragon charm. Dragon charm. Cures poison and greatly restores HP. Cool. Right, what's through here? This leads upwards. Life jam. Friend ahead in short stride, wheel, hurrah for money bags. Is that where Gavlan's supposed to be? Gavlan wheel, Gavlan D. So what's up here? Got a dwarf with two axes. Whoa! And that's a one hit kill. Right in the face. Yeah. Good thing I lit that bonfire. Right. Human form again. Elephant man's over there. He can be ignored for now. Bum stab. There is one thing I remember about this area, and that is I need to get one of those shields when I can. Because those shields, if I remember right, have like stupid high fire resist. Now, let's see if I can dodge this guy's flying axes. There. Fisted. Yeah, it's quite a cool zone. I got his armor. off the edge. So 
we've got this dude with a shield. Come on. There. Fisted. And then we've got a dude sat down over here. So we can sneak up on this one. He's got quite a cool weapon as well, it's basically just an anvil on a chain. Large titanite shard. It's in here. Try jumping. I don't think you can jump. No, you can't. That's just like a water exit or something. Maybe somewhere to just light your torch if you need to. Message. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Peep peep poop poo. Peep peep poop poo. I'm beating up dwarves. Are we outside? Is this where I think it is? Pride Stone Cove, Seldora. So this is one of the places I was looking for, but I'm going to write the light this and head back for more exploring. Because I'm sure there's a ton we've missed. But that is at least progression. We have somewhere else to go. So underneath was where bonfire was, and there was a way through there, wasn't there? This is another PvP area I have just remembered. Stab the giant elephant then. But he thought he dropped his helmet. What does his helmet look like? I was hoping it would have tusks on it, but apparently not. Right, so doors, walkway above with dwarves on it. Go around the edge. Usually a good plan. Beep 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 beep. Get my Twitch open so I can see when Brina actually comes online. Yo. Yo, Greg, how goes? I am fighting dwarves, or trying to. 
So this is the way up to the walkway. Is it? No. Just the way up to this little ledge. Nice. Yeah, I was working today as well, and as soon as I finished work, I jumped on stream. Or as soon as I sorted some stuff out after work. So, torch pedestal, torch pedestal. Lots of places to use the lock stones. You're a way through. And I'm pretty sure these lock stones are going to open this door here. <gasps> Bruce Lee build. Yep. I've got... Got my Cestus. I'm starting to get the Assassin's outfit. I'm going to farm it off stream. And then... Just like the real Bruce, Bruce Lee, I can throw fireballs. If I need to. Because everybody knows Bruce Lee can throw fireballs. Or could throw fireballs. And I've got... Like, one of these malformed claws as well. But I need a second one because I want to be able to dual wheel when I'm doing stuff like that. That dwarf has spotted me, I can hear him running around. So yet another place we can use lock stones. So let's go up here. Punch more dwarves in the butt. Come on. Swing. And then... Oh, he was too far over. There. Yes, Fume Knight is my favourite boss. There are two bosses in this game that I really, really like. They are Hume Knight and Sir Alon. And I cannot wait to get to them. He threw something at me. I'm sure he did. Bam, bam. Right, come on. Bot stab. There we go. And his shield went flying. Bye shield. Right, so I need... Lots of Pharaoh's lock stones, it sounds like. Because that wall is not a trap at all. Yep. This guy will. Yeah, I do quite like Dark Souls 2. There's a lot of people who don't like it. But yeah, I quite like Dark Souls 2. 3 is still my favourite, but... Open this. Trap. Chunk and a dragon bone. I still don't have any lock stones to put in these. Yeah, everybody memes on it. It is that kind of game. This is the one that I have played the most of, apart from Dark Souls 3. 
regular lock stone. So I have one lock stone so far. And so many places I could use them. Is that a statue? Is that a real? It's a statue. Yeah, it's it's easily the longest by far. Well, I'm getting through it quite fast, but it's because I know the game. Also, this build is way stronger than I thought it would ever be. I was expecting to really struggle with some of the bosses, but... I've been able to fly through most of them. So most of these are useless. Plus I want to save it for the big door downstairs. You are another statue. This is pointless. Got another route over there with fog door. But stab. Shield, no shield. Nice cinematic death going over the edge though. So, how many lock stones have I found? Is it just the one? one? It's in here. This is going to be a boss fight, isn't it? That's what it looks like. So let's check back this way first, just in case. Or is this the way that I came in? No, this is the way I came in. No, they have not tried Cestus or Bonefist before. Was fighting it. This is my first time using Cestus. I have uh, one of these claws saved up. I'm going to get another one. I do know about the Bonefist and I am going to get it when I can. Because I am aware that it lets you do Street Fighter shit. I'll be doing the DLCs as well, yeah. Right. Boss fight time. I'm in the right stance. Let's go. Oh, it's this one. Um. Ah, it's not a full one-shot kill. But that ain't gonna work. Not with a big one coming for me straight away. Right, I will give it another shot, seeing as the bonfire is right there. And then we shall raid on over to Barina, who should be live now. Because he said he was going to play Chimera Squad today. So. Let's go. And I got toxic straight away. Um, I don't think I can because I am playing on Xbox at the moment. So I don't think I can do it. Let's have a look. Nope. 
Right, how do we deal with these little guys? Fire rod, maybe? We'll take you off. I'll tell you what, I will put on though. Oh no, I've already got it on. Oh, it's, um, I'll have a look at it, see if I can find it on Twitch settings or something. Right, toxic again, straight away. And Fire Orb doesn't do that much to them. It's off by default. E. Doesn't reach. It is fast enough. That will do for tries against that boss. I will need to work out a way to sort out the rats. But, Danny, you've turned up right at the end. You missed me fighting gargoyles and a bunch of other stuff. But yeah, the rat is fucking me up. I need to work out a way to take out the little guys. When I've only got spells and punches. Um, there will be a way to do it. Anyway, we are finishing for today. Yeah, I am knackered after work. I need to go in search of food and stuff. So I jumped on here as soon, almost as soon as I finished. So we shall raid on over to Brina. And it was a lot of fun. So Brina is doing Chimera Squad, which is the the newest version of the XCOM, and it's really fun. It's like a cross between Rainbow Six and the XCOM games, so it'll be interesting seeing seeing him playing it. The stories I've heard about Brina playing Rainbow Six. So, thank you for watching, everybody. I will see you all next time. So keep an eye on the. Uh, the Discord for when next streams will be. So I still need to organise Fortnite at some point. But bye everybody.